Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the ZAI or the latest GLM 4.5 that had been released. It has the capabilities that are a little bit faster and even behaving a bit far more than the normal chat GPT 5.1 or 5.2 that we can see. I've tested it in several occasions and I've found it to be exceptionally fast and very, very interactive. So let's see some use cases of this particular AI tool. You have to, of course, access it by coming to chat.z.ai. Okay. And I want you, so here you can always come to new charts and you'll be prompted to this. This is the chatting area. Of course, you have the option to enable the deep think, just like the deep research that we have in chat GPT. And then you can have other tools like you can enable the web search directly so it just searched the web and over here you can upload different kind of files up to 10 files with a maximum of 50 megabytes per file okay so over here you see the recent charts that i had with it and then these are some of the recent ones as well so down here in use cases you can generate presentation slides on your own if you want and then you can do full stack development magic design you can do deep research then write computer codes and solve uh, stuff like that so let's try something very very generic and direct let's say we we'll do normal texting and see the speed and the content the detail of what it brings can you write a blog post about photosynthesis please include all chemical formulas involved and then i'm going to leave it at deep research or deep think and then go ahead and send submit and let's see how what this is going to bring for us as far as a generic way of testing it so you can basically see the speed is writing the content the chemical formulas involved as well as the key details it has subdivided it into stages stage one stage two stage three why photosynthesis actually matters and the key things okay so this is very very direct and it's very basic okay it has given up a summary of the stage one which is input outputs and key formulas involved so this is really next level of oral formula for photosynthesis is this and then this is the sun secret recipe Okay, so this is very very detailed now the next thing is i want to come back to a new chat and this time around i want to test it to generate slides okay okay can you generate a comprehensive 10 slides about the impact of ai in research okay so right now i can just go ahead and click on submit and then this is going to go through and then develop the slides for me Okay, so as you can see, it is searching image by image and it has finished searching all the content. I said now I'll create a comprehensive 10 slide presentation about the impact of AI in research. Now, based on my research, I've organized the content to cover various aspects of how AI is transforming scientific discovery from data analysis to ethical consideration and future directions. So let's see, this is the coding. It is writing the code and possibly at the end of this, it's going to generate the slides for us. And fantastically, you can see the preview of what it has generated, the impact of AI on research. So these are the synopsis of what it is going to generate is one of our four slides this is the first slide this is the second one ai data in analysis and processing it is still making the other ones and you can see the detail in what it has created it has added very relevant images of the ai in this and you can see this is the third one ai in literature review and knowledge synthesis you can see the best ai research tools it has even highlighted some of them that you can use and work with so let's just give you some seconds to finish up with the generation all right and as you can see it has given us all the 10 slides so let's check them you can see very very detailed and very very nice experiment design and hypothesis generation take a look at the relevant images it has added ai in academic writing and research communications and ai and research efficiency ai enable research this is very very detailed and i like the output in fact even the arrangement of the layout as well as the images it has added are next level so this is the second use case let's look at another wonderful use case of this which we can use to generate a video game we can use this to generate an interactive game so let's go back to a new chat and then let's say kinu design a chess game make it interactive so that i can play with or against the ai okay so let's say can you design a chess game make it interactive so that i can play against the ai so let's go ahead and submit this make sure you have a deep think enabled and this is going to go in and develop or generate the chess game so you can just go ahead and play directly online 
okay so right now it is writing the code and it's going to give us the chsql this is how it runs the structure the design and so on that's giving us the detailed code and whatever is involved in this so let's wait and see the final results all right and as you can see it has generated the game for me you can always click to start a new game and when you click you can play it live you can see it is playing and the computer is playing also very very nice and fantastic you can play the game very easily okay you can see very interestingly you can always click on new game to restart so this is another use case of this particular zai tool so let's try one last use case and then call it a day so for the last use case i have this prompt create a digital bubble wrap web page where you Users can endlessly pop bubbles with their mouse, complete with satisfying pop sound effects at the end of it. So let's go ahead and see whether it's going to create this interactive digital bubble wrap for us. And as you can see, it has given us a fantastic result, digital bubble wrap. And you can, as you click, you can hear the sound. Okay, so you just be popping, a little bit disappearing, and you can see how many you have popped okay so you just be popping four steps pop 10 okay so you can just keep popping it is very very interesting so depending on the use case go ahead and see how you can use this to your own advantage with your content it is very very wonderful and everything that you see here is completely free of charge so this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of the zai using the glm 4.5 model hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye